Hello everybody and welcome back to our Jomen campaign. We are at the top of a new turn where we have summoned a lot of Tengus. We've taken control of the province of the Shallows. We have now taken control of East King's Cut. Found some items and a battle battle in Northwatch. This should be against Bogus. And since we found items, I'm going to assume this went okay for us. But let's see. Alright, so their Dark Knight guy went behind all of our Ashigaru. When Warriors is being dropped. Wow, his attack actually didn't hit any Ashigaru. We managed to, I guess, repel, maybe? Alright, the other enemy heroes are still making their way down here. More blessings going off. That's in three. Hmm, that's odd. My keyboard shortcuts aren't. Well, that one works. But I can't increase time. Really? With my cap lock song? That's the reason. There we go. Okay. Anyway, uh, I think we killed the, the Dark Knight when I was looking for my keyboard shortcut there. Wow, they actually routed our Ashigaru, though. That fear aura. Okay, our Tinkus are surrounding Bogus. Trying to bring him down. And the Troll Archer as well. As you can see, Bogus regenerates 8 per turn, so you, they really need to do a lot of damage to get through there. What's he sitting at right now? 66! Oh my goodness. We may, are we going to lose? 72! Our guys are not being able to repel his attacks enough, and we're not getting enough damage through. Holy crap. <laughs> that bogus. 80 hit points. I, I don't think... Oh my god, no! No! Oh no, Ewok can't be... You're so gonna die. Yep. Wow, even surrounding him, we cannot kill him. And he is the last one. Oh my god, he is just chewing through everything. There we go, okay. So our Tengus didn't have enough damage, but when he was finally surrounded by the Yamabushi, that's when we were able to kill him. Wow. And we lost 37 units. We lost Iwakempi and two of our priests. Man. Jeez, that bogus. That guy. Destroying the gates in the forest of Mouse, but we need more time to succeed. And, okay. Oh boy. That is a lot of enemy units. Okay. Let's gather some Tengus, the Yamabushi, and the Akaoni. Hold and attack the rearmost enemy. Put you guys in the back. Hold and attack closest. Guard commander. Okay, you're going to go back up. And, man, that really just, that sucks. And some of our units ran away. There they are. We'll just move them up towards Pythium, I think. There we go. Let's increase the garrison here. Ooh. Probably should do the same thing there. And let's collect the rest. And send them back up towards Pythium as well. We have 181 gold left. Let's recruit some Ashigaru. Let's grab 
Hatsumoto. Um. <laughs> Blue Golem is sieging that. Oh boy. Late Age Agartha. Okay. So maybe that's the Dominion that's taking. Or that uh, has this province. Belongs to Agartha. Interesting. Alright, Rippity Dip. We should have a Ring of Water Breathing. There we go. You're going to conquer that province. Akros is going to go there where they have another castle. My god. We still need to conquer that. Where's, where's Pomegranate? There you are. Alright, Pomegranate. You must lead your capital to victory over a defenseless castle. Uh, the rest of you are going to move north. And this guy isn't doesn't really need to be there anymore. So... I guess we'll send him up here as well. We're still recruiting shark soldiers. Very good. We don't really have much money left. We should still be recruiting Yamabushi. We are. And Ashigar from here. Oh, no. Akaoni. Okay. That's cool. That's good enough. Do we have anybody up here? Yeah. Chaos Angel. Okay. Cool. Put you guys there. Let's set these orders. Do hold and attack closest enemy. Okay. And let's see, you can go up. Th uh, no, we don't really need you there. Well, I, I do have a lot of priests. Um. <laughs> Preach the teach. Oh, you cannot. That's already maxed. Okay, let's send you down here, I guess. This army is going to stay where it is. Next turn, I think I'll load this guy up with shark soldiers. Go here to meet up with this army. And then they're going to push up. And I think I may just go straight for the um, throne here. Yes, I do want to take this back as well. But the throne is pretty important. And if I get Anduric and that army up here, then I kind of can sandwich... Well, attack from here and then from down here and clear this little area out, hopefully. Are we recruiting here? We are not. And that is okay with me. They're still sieging. You guys are just sitting there. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, Ewok Kimpy. Bogus was too much for you. As you would be for most people. Whew. Okay, research and evocation is complete. We are at level 6. Level 5. Okay. Battle in the shallows. Really? No. They weren't supposed to attack us. I'm here. No. Blue golem, run away. Oh, 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 oh no. What? You do. Oh. I guess since the castle still belonged to Independence, the AI doesn't recognize it as ours and so attacked it. That's probably what happened there. <sighs> that sucks. Okay. And they are attacking us again. I do not think they will be successful. Damn it! Well, sorry, Blue Golem. Oh, Jesus. Those archers. 
Get him, Tinkus. And this is where we crush them. Okay. Well, let's see. They lost 86 out of 88, and we lost 29. Awesome. We're destroying a few gates around. That's okay. Man. Damn it, Atlantis. Uh. Really? Agartha controls that? Hmm. Well, we may, we may actually just stay there, because if I take that, then we're going to declare war on Agartha, though I don't think they have many underwater units, though, right? Maybe they took that over with some skeletons or something? I don't know. Hmm. Well, Rippy Dip, you're going to join them, and let's get a garrison here. Garrison there. That really sucks. Because they're not at war with us. They just don't recognize that as our province. Okay. You guys move up. You guys move up. And now... Is the time to press our advantage here. Guy will move there. You guys will move up. Pomegranate and Kappas are sieging. They're still sieging. 50 oh, okay, cool. We can get a Daitengu here. Let's do that. Alchemy. There we go. Okay, finally. Wait, what do I need for that? Two air, one earth? Okay. Two air. Dude. Don't tell me I don't actually have a caster that can do that. <laughs> oh, man. I guess I didn't even think that about that there. Really? What's the air item? Hmm. A stone bird. Crap. Well. Well, well, well. Um. Hmm. Definitely did not think that one through, did I? Shit. Ah, uh, that really sucks. Okay. I'm going, to have to, I'm going to look up the item to increase air magic, but we're already at level 6. Ah, that's not what I want. Uh, research. We're already at level 6 construction, so it, it must take like at least level 2 or 3 air to make it. 
Or else this guy should be able to. Right? Let me look again. Is it a... One of these things? Uh, I want to say they're boots. Yep, I don't think I have access to that item. Ah, oh, damn it. There's no way that I have to empower a mage to level 2. Right? I may have to, actually, though. Mm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope, okay, yeah. None of you guys have air. Well, crap. How did I... How did I not think about that? Oh, well. I'm not going to dwell on it. Alright, so they're moving. We're attacking Pythium. Let's go into army setup and put those guys there. And now we'll do attack closest enemy. Put you guys, like, right there. And continue to recruit. We are. We have 148. So I guess it is possible that we can get a level 2 air mage. Are these guys? Yeah, same with these guys. I just haven't got it yet. Well, let's try some more. Can these guys do it? No, they can't do it. I think what happened, because I did do a test game and got all the way up to where I could summon Daitengu, and I don't remember having to build items for it. I must have just got lucky and had a level 2 air mage in that test game. I just slipped my mind. Okay, well, I think that's all I'm going to do right now. Ah, oh, that sucks. Finally get to the point where I can summon one. Uh. Okay, battle in Copper Hills. I guess they did declare a war on us. Okay. Well, luckily we have these commanders on the way to Pythium, but... Oh, this is bad. And those guys aren't even blessed yet. Yep. Well, okay, let's take a look at what they have. Atlantean Infantry, Coral Spears, Protection and Defense is rather low for this age. Ice Guard, Protection 18, holy crap. Ice Protection. You know we'll have higher protection value the colder the province is, okay? I cannot let their dominion overpower me then. 15 defensive, 12 attack, 17 magical damage. Oh, oh boy. That's pretty scary. Alright, so yeah, hey, we're at war with Atlantis. That's cool. They only have giant armies. Okay. Battle in the heart of... Are they attacking us again? Okay. Holy crap. Oh my god, they have three hydras there? That makes me wish I had my archers... Actually firing. We'll be okay. I believe in the Yamabushi. There go the Tengus. 
The poison from the Hydras should be cancelled by the regeneration. At least for the Yamabushis. For everybody else. Ah. Archers are trying to bring down those lizard cataphracts. Our Tengus are gone. Man, those little cataphracts are really giving it to our um, both samurai up there. Alright, the Hydras are now poisoning all of their own troops. It's gonna hurt them more than it's gonna hurt me. But I don't have that many Yamabushi and my Akaoni are routed. Which is bad. As long as the Yamabushi can continue to repel, then the regeneration should cancel out the poison, while the poison slowly kills off the enemy legionnaires. Which I think is exactly what's happening. Our archers are still going for the lizard cataphracts, but they're still alive and they're still fighting. That Hydra is still sitting there poisoning their, their own troops. Our Yamabushi are holding on. Our archers are now fighting against alligators, I guess. Barbarians have finally routed. There it is. Their, any, their army is routed. So yeah, those hydras are a dangerous thing. Especially to their own troops. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it. Get that hydra! It's a large one. Yes. Well, wow, that was a tough fight, though. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. They lost 154 soldiers. We lost 32. Holy shit. The power of the Yamabushis with this blessing. I told you in the beginning of this campaign, they are nasty. They are so nasty. I didn't make them to counteract the whole poison effect of the Hydras from Pythium. But that's just another side of uh, you know side bonus, added benefit, with my particular blessing. Okay, battle in the blessed gorge. Wow, yeah, this is bad. And that's all they're attacking with, huh? So what the hell are these guys? Sixteen protection, twenty-four damage, ten and twelve with twenty hit points. Twenty-two magical damage, bone glaive, sacred unit. 13 attack skill. Whew. 13 protection, 11 resistance. Our Yamabushi, even though the weapons are not magical, are still better than these guys. Although they're not blessed yet, so I don't I can't I can't say that. Hold on. Is this a priest? That is a priest. But they did not cast any kind of blessing, did they? They did not. Uh, anyway, there's no way we're gonna be able to fight them off. But I was hoping to see their blessing. Still nothing? I think that thing is casting Sermon of Courage. I need you to cast Blessing! <laughs> I want to see what it is! Skeletal Legion. Does that mean these guys become skeletons when they die? There we go. Okay, so the blessing for this faction is attack skill plus two, magic resistance, and undying plus five. Wow. I... The undying as a bless is... I mean... Added hit points are better than undying because if you get to the undying hit points, your guys are dead at the end of the battle anyway. Whereas the nature magic, which raises your hit points... Those are real hit points. Undying is like temporary hit points. Um, but of course, I mean, it's still cool, I guess, if your whole goal is to get high um, death magic. But still, undying is eh. Eh. That's what I say to that, eh. Our Yamabushi can smoke them. But unfortunately, we're now fighting against Pythium and Atlantis. At least they were kind enough to wait for Lemuria to be dead first, I guess. 
That was nice of them. That kind of changes up this whole damn uh, thing. I cannot allow them to take my castle. And I don't think this army can stop them. Wait a minute, did I, re I recruited a Hatsumoto, Hatsumoto, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, do -do -do, go to my list of people. There right, we go. Maragon. Maragon the Hatsumoto. So war has been officially declared. Oh my god. Dude, I'm not ready to fight Atlantis and Pythium. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, well. Let's hope Satis doesn't go after us as well. Let's move up Pippin. Up there. We're still sieging this castle? Right? Man, that sucks. Move up there. I guess continue recruiting Ashigaru. Let's get a Shugenjin. Shugenja. Man. I do not have the armies to stop Atlantis. Alright, you guys now need to go after Atlantis, I guess. We'll send um, everybody back here. We'll start recruiting some more shark. Uh... You know what? Let's get some shrimp warriors to fight Atlantis in the water. Oh man, I. Was not ready for this. Alright, Ray, I think it's time to consolidate here. You only have three soldiers left. Um, God, just one Ashigaru. Put you down there with Super Tigrification. And Ray, let's send you there. What's your... Okay, leadership 85. So I'm going to send you here, pick up some soldiers, and go north. And Chaos Angel, I'm actually going to put on Defend, so you... Are not on patrol because I do not think your army can stop the Atlanteans hopefully they if they attack us they'll take some time to siege the castle giving Ray time to collect reinforcements here and then move north and hopefully you guys can stop them hopefully do we recruit a level 2 air mage we did not hmm Okay. That's okay. That's not okay. Who has soldiers here? Talmac Ken. Hmm. Tell you what, you guys can just stay there. And you'll go up with Ray here in a bit. So research. That dude's moving. Research. Oh man, how many people did I have on defend last time? Research. Oh, no, no, no. Um... There we go. Need all the kappa we can get. All the Ninja Turtles to fight off Atlantis. So hopefully, Pomegranate... I think what will happen is... When Pomegranate takes over this castle, we're going to move him to join up with Akros and probably take this castle, and then they will move up north to fight against Atlantis there, I guess. So I think I will also cast some Kappa over here. And that will be it for this episode, everybody. I am not feeling too comfortable, to just to be honest here, about our position. We're fighting against Atlantis and Pythium now. And if Satis joins in, oh, if Marignan joins in, 
Oh, man. We are so dead. As it stands, Atlantis is going to be a tough opponent. They've been able to build up their armies for a long time. But we'll see how this goes. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Take care.